In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a newsletter in GetResponse. It enables you to schedule your email ahead of time. When you see this, you may be wondering what the difference is between autoresponder and newsletter. In autoresponder, you will send out a series of emails. The first email will be sent whenever someone subscribes to your mailing list, and it doesn't matter when they subscribe. The sequence will always be the same as how you've set it up. Unlike autoresponder series, while newsletter requires you to set a specific date and time to send out your email, if the visitor subscribes to you after the date and time, they will not be able to receive the email unless you send it again manually. Without further ado, let's get started. When you have logged into your GetResponse account, you will see there are four options here in this page. One of them is the Create Newsletter option. Click on it and wait for it to load. You will see two options in the Create Newsletter page. There's New Email Creator and HTML Source Editor. I will choose the first option as an example for this video. First, type your message name and subject. For this example, I will just type just a test email. Move on to the next step once you're done. And then, at the left-hand side of the page, you can see there are some pre-designed templates. But I will not recommend that you choose the complicated one because the chances that your email will be sent to spam are high if there are too many pictures in the email. So usually what I'll do is pick on the plain text template and then enter your plain text message here in this box. If your message is too long, it is highly recommended to click on the Wrap Long Lines option at the top right above the box. Once you've done this, click on the next step. It will then lead you to this page. You can include and or exclude recipients in your mailing list. Click on the boxes that you want and move on. In this case, I'm going to pick the list building how to list and proceed to the next page. And then you will see a message summary page. Double check all the information. If everything is fine, then click on schedule. You can see there is a delivery time and date option that's appeared. Choose your time and date to schedule your email. In this case, I'm going to choose the 7th of November and 9.30 a.m. US time and click on schedule. And well done. Your message will be sent according to the settings and you're done with it. Thanks for watching.